हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु कांडपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट एम एस कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन बीकानेर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द पोएम द टाइगर रिटन बाय विलियम ब्लेक एंड वी विल स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ऑथर विलियम ब्लेक विलियम ब्लेक वॉज बॉर्न इन लंडन इन सेवनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन अ सिटी इन विच ही लिव एंड वर्क फॉर मच ऑफ हिज लाइफ ही वॉज द सन ऑफ जेम्स ब्लेक हु वॉज अ हॉजियर इन Borat Street James Blake Blake was not a rich man he had little money to spare for his son's education but he did what lay in his powers to help William Blake whose artistic gifts showed themselves at quite an early age William Blake had little school education he left school at the age of 10 to become apprentice to a master engraver in which he remained until 1779 at the age of 10 he went up to a drawing school in the strand where he learned to draw from the antique he remained here for 4 years william blake was self taught in literature and philosophy at school he learned only drawing and engraving and possibly some painting As a child he was able to see luminous beings not of this world and this continued into adult life often mingling with prophetic visions and dreams to inspire much of his creative output in 1782 he married he was married with Catherine the daughter of a market gardener the young couple lived in green street leicester square for some time catherine proved to be a good life mate for him and shortly after he attempted to set up his own print shop which ultimately failed though intensely spiritual in outlook and enjoying patronage from among the clergy he was far from orthodox in his religious beliefs which like his political views were often at variance with established traditions in 1800 he left london to live and work for a short while in sussex but returned to the capital in 1803 where he continued to write and to illustrate his own verse with assistance from catherine who often worked alongside him his poems remain especially popular short on sentimental sentimentality but rich in symbolism many have a particularly modern ring to them and were also highly influential among the later romantics and pre-raphaelite poets and painters of the 19th century he died in london in 1827 blake's first printed work poetical sketches is a collection of apprentice works mostly imitating classical models The poems protest against war, tyranny, and King George III's treatment of the American colonies. He published his most popular collection, Songs of Innocence, in 1789, and followed it in 1794 with Songs of Experience. Blake was a nonconformist. He declared in one poem, "I must create a system or be enslaved by another man's." work such as the french revolution america a prophecy visions of the daughters of albion and europe a prophecy express his opposition to the english monarchy and to 18th century political and social tyranny in general theological tyranny is the subject of the book of urizen in the prose work the marriage of heaven and hell he satirized oppressive authority in church and state in felpham he experienced profound spiritual insights that prepared him for his mature work the great visionary epics written and etched between about 1804 and 1820 milton wala or the four zaws written after 1800 and jerusalem having neither traditional plot characters rhyme nor meter blake's poetry was not well known by the general public but he was mentioned in a biographical dictionary of the living authors of great britain and ireland published in 1816 samuel taylor coleridge who have been left a copy of songs of innocence and of experience considered blake as a man of genius and wordsworth another romantic 
another great romantic writer, made his own copies of several songs. Blake's final years spent in great poverty. In 1818, he met John Lennon, a young artist who helped him financially and in 1825 commissioned him to design illustration for Dante's Divine Comedy, the cycle of drawings that Blake worked on until his death in 1827. This is all about the writer William Blake and uh, Blake loved the Elizabethans for their naturalness and rhythmic music. But he was a mystic also. Both the naturalism and mysticism of the Romantic revival found expression in Blake. Mysticism in poetry is usually blended with a wistful melancholy. But Blake is an exception. He is a joyful mystic. There are no mournful regrets in his verse. His mysticism was not an aspiration for the future. It was a realization of the present. The kingdom of heaven is within you. His later works like Songs of Experience are loaded with mysticism. The brightness of his earlier works gives place to a sense of mystery. So we can say that Blake was a poet, philosopher and artist combined in one. His genius as a poet or artist was not recognized by the public during his lifetime. But he was never discouraged and applied himself steadily to poetic and artistic production. This is about the writer William Blake. In the next video, we are going to study the poem The Tiger written by William Blake. Thank you.